Okay. Oh, okay. So um, take notes though, because I might not share with you because Emily made me feel silly. I'm just kidding. Um, and I would say we would have a handout for you, but we're mamas with littles and ain't nobody got time for that. So <clears throat> yeah, we'll make sure we take time for questions at the end. Okay. All right. Let's take a minute or two to introduce ourselves. All right. So I'm Amy. I'm the mom of two girls, Whitney and Zella. And like the honest truth is that I, I like can't imagine being a mom without my oils to reach for. Um, my husband feels the same way, except about being a dad, not about being a dad. Okay. And so um, real life moments here. And I just think um, it's just really neat to watch them start to learn to reach. Our girls are starting to reach for their oils and understand that process. And I think there can be a lot of like fear and even misinformation regarding like oils for littles and kiddos. And I just have a really huge passion for like taking away the fear and replacing it with like a healthy respect for essential oils. And like, but I do that through education, right? Teaching somebody, this is how you use them, when you use them, how you incorporate them into your home. So that's like what I love to do and what we'll get a chance to do tonight. I'm Emily. I'm also a mom of two girls, EB and Ada. So can we just take a minute to appreciate these photos? So these are our second girls, Zella and Ada, both born in the same room at the same birth center in Appleton, almost exactly a year apart. And for a different class we did, we pulled this up and Amy's like, I have a photo almost exactly like that. So I just think this is precious. So those are our babies. Okay. So I have used oils uh, before four kids during pregnancy, during labor, um, now all the time with my two girls. So I'm really grateful to have these tools when things come up. So digestive issues, temper tantrums, mm -hmm. first aid, anything, right? It's all at our disposal. I'm really grateful for that um, and to know that they're safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, now is the part where you send a text to whoever invited you to this call, whoever your oils person is, um, send a text to me or Amy. So our numbers are on there. Um, and do we, what are they texting us? I don't feel like we talked about that. Just <laughs> your name, right? Your name, if you've never texted us before. And yeah. I would say like something you, we've already talked with most of you about like something you'd like to be able to use an oil for, but if there's like something at the top of your list, we want to know that. Yeah, for sure. Sorry. I was like, what are you texting us? <laughs> Just a blank text. Um, so yeah, let us know your name. So we are, we're feeling like extra generous tonight and we've got lots of stuff to raffle off. So we have like bug sprays and temper tantrum rollers and rollers for mama and maybe a diffuser. And we've got lots of stuff that we're raffling off. So as we're going through, um, we'll be asking questions. And every time, if you send us a text to answer that question, every text gets you an entry. Okay. So send us a text, let us know you're on answer all our million questions. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay. So, um, so obviously you're on this call. You probably know doTERRA oils are what our families have chosen to use. And they're the brand that we've chosen to educate others on as well. So you can find oils anywhere, anywhere, the grocery store, the gas station, Amazon. So what difference does it make? All of the bottles that you see will say they're hundred percent pure. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, so we want to briefly touch on some important points that make us feel like really confident using doTERRA oils. So the first thing is the purity. So purity means there's no foreign contaminants or fillers. There's not even residue from the machinery that they use to distill the oils. There's nothing. It's just the pure essential oil that comes from the plant. Every batch of oils undergoes rigorous third-party testing, and they'll show you the results of those tests. You stole my thunder. Hey, I'm just kidding. Just okay. Please. <laughs> <laughs> She's the worst. Okay. So transparency. I really love doTERRA's transparency. So I mentioned it. You can go to source to you.com and you can enter the batch ID on the bottom of every bottle and you can see the test results for your oil. And so I love that they stand behind their oils in that way. Um, next is potency. So each plant is grown in a part of the world where that plant grows best, which results in the best chemistry for that specific plant. So you can grow lavender in Wisconsin, but it's not where that plant grows best. And so it's going to have a totally different chemistry and give you totally different results, um, depending on where it's grown. 
So the ideal natural chemistry means the essential oil extracted does exactly what we want it to do for our health. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, let's talk about sourcing. So doTERRA has created like an entirely new sourcing system and it empowers thousands of small scale farmers all over the world. So doTERRA doesn't own its farms because there are already farmers out there all over the world who like where these plants are grown naturally, like we talked about. And then doTERRA can partner with them and it creates sustainable farming practices that can pay them immediately and very fairly beyond fair. In my opinion, they can invest in the communities and the families. I'm really blown away by doTERRA's devotion to people on both sides of the bottle. Right. And then so really simple terms. It's kind of like fair trade for essential oils. Okay. So let's talk about, um, science and research. So, um, doTERRA works really hard on furthering the educate or the, the science research education of essential oils. So they have over 113 medical and university partnerships, including Johns Hopkins, Vanderbilt, and St. Elizabeth has a new cancer center. They're working really closely with so they're really committed to furthering that science and research so it can back up the anecdotal evidence we all have, right? But science is having it on paper. Um, so doTERRA is really committed to that. So if you want to see like the nitty gritty, like the details of it, or if you have someone in your life that's like, I don't know if all that's real, you can go to pubmed.gov and you can type in like frankincense essential oil, eucalyptus essential oil, and it's going to show you all of the available studies. There's new studies being added all the time. Um, but this has been a really useful tool to me when I look back and be like, can I reference this? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, so um, for an extra entry. So here's your first test. Ready? Just kidding. It's not a test. So tell us which point of these you feel like about doTERRA stands out the most to you, which is the most meaningful to you of these that we talked about. All right, we want to make sure that you're like dangerous with your essential oils, like you know enough to know actually like how to use them and use them well. Um, so the first way that you can use an essential oil is aromatically. If you have your wild orange with you, or maybe you have lavender balance because that's what you grabbed. I just like want to remind you of the power of just putting a drop in your hand and taking a deep breath. You can smell it right out of the bottle. And I just think it's um, a great way to affect your mood. Um, if you're uh, putting it in a diffuser and using it that way, you can affect a whole room without having to touch anybody. Um, I love using that in transition points in our home um, during nap times and bedtime. So it's such a great tool, um, but it just can't be discounted. Respiratory support, all the things. So I love aromatic use and how great it is for all ages and stages of life. So the next is topically. So you can apply oils directly to the skin. So for children, for people with sensitive skin, if you're pregnant, you'll want to dilute the oils with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil. It's just as effective. It just takes a little bit longer for the oil to absorb into your skin. So your body has a little bit more time to process it. You can, apply, um, you can apply oils to the bottoms of your feet, including babies. So the skin on the bottoms of your feet is much less sensitive um, and the oil absorbs quickly into the bloodstream. So it's a great way to get the oils into your system fast. And then um, internally, oh, wait, go back. Okay, so internally is the last way. And doTERRA essential oils are not only safe to take internally, they're actually recommended. Um, they're completely safe to ingest, unlike most other brands. Um, I like to add some drops to water using a glass or a stainless steel container. You could put some drops right underneath your tongue or even in a veggie capsule if you don't wanna have to taste the oil. It's kind of like concocting your own little natural remedy. Um, next up, Emma is gonna give us some more tips about dilution. And um, I just wanna say, at, before, after that, we get to dive into like recipes, some specific things. And as Em and I were trying to create like and talk about what we wanted to share, it's like was kind of hard to narrow it down to like what did what recipes were the most important to share because there's so many different ones. And we just want to make sure that you don't feel overwhelmed. So like if you see a recipe and it speaks to you, like take note of it. If you're like, you know, you do not have to make all these things. You do not need all of these things. Um, so grab the ones that speak to you and hang on to those and like go from there. For sure. Well said. <clears throat> okay. So we're talking about little. So let's talk about dilution. So um, Amy and I are both like guesstimators. So we're kind of like, that's fine. Like, you know, just a little, you put a little in your hand. Some people are like, no, I want to know drop 
per age? Like, tell me specifically. Um, so this is kind of like an easy tip for like a uh, rule of thumb. Okay. So for kids six and under, if they're zero to one year old, you're going to put one drop of oil in a 10 mil roller. So that's how long, or that's how much you would dilute it. Okay. If they're two years old, it's two drops. If they're three years old, it's three drops. So when you're using these oils with littles, it's really like a little bit goes a long way. These oils are not going to run out super fast because they're going to be super diluted on your little one. Okay. So with adults, anywhere from 20 to 25 drops in a 10 mil roller. So if you want a specific chart, um, we've got like a, a dilution chart. Um, you can text us the word chart and we'll make sure to get that over to you if you're one of those people that's like, no, tell me exactly. That's fine. We've got a chart for that. Okay. So just tell us to, and we'll send it over. Okay, so let's get into some specific recipes. So like Amy said, it was kind of hard to narrow down. And this isn't like uh, hard and fast rules here. You know, like so many of these oils do so many different things. So if you're like, ah, shoot, I don't have tea tree. That's okay. Use what you have. There's lots of things we can replace it with. Okay, so let's start with first aid, right? Bumps kids get hurt. So owie spray. So this is just three drops each, frankincense, lavender, and tea tree in a little spray bottle. Fill the rest with water. So this is super nice because then you don't have to like touch the owie. You can spray it on. They can spray it on. If they fall off their bike, fall down, scratch elbows, scratch knees, spray that on. It will help clean it out, help um, repair, you know, speed up the healing, repair the skin, like just the best. And it doesn't hurt. Okay, Correctex is another great option. This is like natural, uh, we're recording. <laughs> this is like a natural cream that you can use. That you, um, I can't think of a compliant way to say it. It's another great option <laughs> that you can use for like scrapes, um, bites, things like that. Okay. And then if you're like, Emily, ain't nobody got time to be making stuff up like in spray bottles. Lavender touch. Honestly, that's what we use. You just like, I just roll a little bit on my finger, dab it on my children's skinned knees. That's a great option. Again, it doesn't, it's never hurt, uh, never stung on my girls. Okay. Bloody noses. So helichrysum is a really good oil for bleeding, <laughs> bruising, bleeding. So you just need a few drops, five to 10 drops in a roller. Um, you know, if your child is younger, do a little bit less. Actually, my daughter was having issues with bloody noses and, and it was either Amy or Melissa was like, did you use helichrysum? And I'm like, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> so be smarter than me and use your helichrysum. Um, okay. So bumps and bruises. Here's the, here's the last one here. So five drops each each helichrysum, frankincense, lavender, and deep blue, and mix the rest with fractionated coconut oil and a five mil roller. So this will really help with healing, bruising, pain, all of that good stuff. Okay. So have it in a roller, keep it in your bag. These are really easy things to just roll on. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Okay. Tis the, it's the time of year. So let's talk about some, uh, natural ways that you can work to keep the bugs away. Okay. Let's be, well, we'll talk about this a little bit, but I feel like, like if you have like grown up your whole life using like deep that eats through like steel toe boots. Like you're going to need to like shift your framework a little bit for what this looks like. Um, our family loves Terra shield. Whitney says all the time, it's doTERRA's repellent blend. It's already made for you. And she's like, I don't understand why it keeps the bugs away, mom. Cause it smells so good. Why don't they like it? Um, honestly, sometimes I just find myself wearing it like a perfume this time of year. It comes in a spray bottle. It comes in a 15 mil. So you can make your own spray too. There are recipes where you can like add oils in to amp, amp it up. Some people put witch hazel in there. You could just put water and shake and spray. It's very forgiving. Um, lemon eucalyptus is a newer oil and this is just a single oil. It's not a blend. And I really like, um, diffusing this oil, maybe like in areas of our home where the doors are opening and shutting a lot. Um, I love its repellent abilities and there there's like research that shows that it's more effective than DEET. If you want the link to that article, then you can, or that study, um, you can text Emily or I article and, um, we'll work to send that over, but I just, um, I love being able to spray this all over us um, as many times a day as I want and not worry about it at all. 
sting stick. Um, so I like the combination here of lav equal parts of lavender, purify, and basil. You can adjust based on like diluting for the ages that you're working with. Um, but this is great for like um, while stings. I do, um, I'm going to hop down really quick to itch stick. You'll see that this has lavender and frankincense in it. Um, more of like mosquito bites, like calming those kinds of things down. Even like um, if you've been in the sun too long and you're kind of um, hivey, <laughs> um, kind of bringing that down a notch. Sometimes I combine the sting stick and the itch stick into one roller um, by just merging those oils. Um, and so that's just a thought for you, depending on what you think is most helpful. Ant and spider spray. Peppermint is just so good for it. If you have peppermint with you, take a smell. If you have it in a little um, sample, crack that open and experience what that's like in your hand. But literally just water and peppermint is so great. Um, and sometimes like, again, if you have a problem area, like you can spray your door frame with it for spiders, you could diffuse your peppermint in the kitchen if you've got ant, an ant issue in there. And tick spray. So um, this kind of overlaps with the repellent we use um, because you'll see it's got the terror shield in there. And then I like to add in geranium and cedar wood. So we've already had this out for about a month um, on like where we come in and out of the door, um, front door. Um, and so now I had it ready to go even before like the bugs were out because I wanted the ticks were out sooner. So geranium and cedar wood are so effective and great to be able to add in there. And um, again, there's really great like recipes you can do with this, but I just think this is like a staple and really easy to do. Okay, next category, ouch. Um, something is hurting your little one. Okay, so let's start with teething. Um, the worst, the worst. Some people have really rough teethers and it's terrible. Some people don't even know their kids are teething, but both of these are super helpful rollers, okay? So one drop each of lavender, copaiba, Roman chamomile, fill the rest with fractionated coconut oil and do that just in a small five mil roller. Mm -hmm. Put that on their jawline. Um, so all these oils are calming, soothing, and copaiba is really helpful for discomfort for them. So that's a really good one to just swipe on their jawline. It will also help with help them get some good rest, right? The lavender and uh, Roman chamomile, super calming. So then for the gums, that you can do one drop copaiba and clove, and then fill the rest with fractionated coconut oil and a five mil roller. Apply that directly to the gum. So I roll it on my finger and then put it on. Um, for our girls and the clove especially helps a lot. And I think adding in the copaiba gives it that extra kick of um, just helping with that discomfort when you feel like, ah, what do I do? Grab those rollers. Okay. You'll be glad you have them growing pains. So three to five drops each, deep blue, copaiba, and fractionated coconut oil. If you don't have copaiba yet, um, this one is, it has a lot of the same effects on the body as CBD oil, um, but I just think it's way less sketchy than a lot of CBD oil you can find on the market. So truly we use this for like, you name it, but especially discomfort for yourself, for little ones, inflammation, it's great for all that, okay? Um, if you're like, I'm, again, Emily, I'm not making up blends. I'm not making up rollers. I have children. Just grab Rescuer. Rescuer is a really great blend already made up for you, already diluted. It's one of the kids oils. Um, so it's already in a roller and um, you can just roll that on, you know, wherever your little one is hurting, right? Put a little bit on their jaw for, for um, teething pain uh, on whatever part is hurting. If they pull something growing pains, grab the Rescuer. Digestive support. I think this is a really big one. I mean, whether it's like, again, like really early on zero to one, like things aren't going well digestively or like potty training, things are difficult or like diet has changed. Things are difficult. Um, I feel like I'm talking to moms with like constipated little ones <laughs> fairly often. So I think it's really good to talk about these. Um, talking about like ready to go for you. You don't even have to think about it. Tamer, the roller um, is from the kids line diluted and ready to go or the digest and touch roller, which is also going to be diluted and ready to go. I honestly feel like they're interchange interchangeable. You can't go wrong. If I had to narrow in on one, it would be the tamer because we're talking about zero to five um, and the 
the smell is more like pleasing to the masses for the tamer blend. Um, as whereas digesta and it has that anise in it, and it's just a little bit licorice -y. So just something for you to consider, but I like tell, like put it where you're going to remember to use it. If they're little and there's a changing table, put it on your changing table and use it at every diaper change. If like, it's got to be in the bathroom, keep it in the bathroom or both. Um, but literally to get a, like around your name, their navel or yours, um, um, like three times a day would be amazing for um, support in that. So I love those um, peppermint beadlets. So this is just a quarter drop of peppermint in this like little capsule. So it's super small. It's really easy to swallow. They can pop it in their mouth if they want to. I don't think they're overpowering. Remember, it's just a quarter drop. But what a great way to get peppermint in, especially like teaching them like the ability to swallow something for support in that way. Um, just straight peppermint oil. Um, I think we're more in like potty training here and a little bit beyond, but like a drop right into the toilet before they sit down. Um, it can really help with like relief, helping them with going. Um, it helps with odor. Like it's like a win, win, win. So I keep a bottle of peppermint in the bathroom and then peppermint soft gels. So this is going to be bigger than a beadlet. So, um, if you're thinking of like your child, your kid's ability to swallow something, it's not very big though. I'll let you know that. And the difference here is that there's enteric coating involved. So this means that the peppermint survives like all the way down into the intestines and then releases for like amazing results. So if you have um, so, uh, like a kiddo that's having a hard time digestively and they're able to swallow one of those hands down, that is going to be amazing support for them. Tantrums. So like Emily and I, she was like, clearly you're going to speak about tantrums because my girls never have tantrums ever. Okay. So I want to kind of look at this. Um, you know, tantrums are like multifaceted. There's so many different things going into it, but what are some like oils that you really can reach for? So in the kids collection, we'll show you a picture of this towards the end. Um, but Calmer, Brave, and Steady are three oils that are in there that are like very balancing to the mood. So your kiddo might identify with one of those and might want to incorporate that into the daily routine. Like what can you do daily to as like preventative measures? Um, for our family, it's balance um, all the time, right? Morning and night, pretty much for all of us. And then reapplying that as needed. Um, I, I hear it says bottoms of feet and spine, which I think is so good when it's crazy, when it's all falling apart, it's me like putting in my hand and like going like this across like my kid's face or like, can I get down their shirt? Like wherever I can get it. So, um, those are going to be really good for give touches on here. I do think that's a great mood one too. And this might be for that, like after conversation a little bit too, like maybe you and your little one need to like roll on some forgive and talk about it. Um, like in the past 48 hours, I've been on my knees multiple times saying to my, you know, mostly my older daughter, but like, I'm sorry that I'm, my voice was frustrated and my tone wasn't, you know, like, I'm sorry. So, um, forgive is really great to add into that. And then the sensory protocol is on here guys. I do this every night for my five-year-old and I will not miss. I think we've probably been doing it for at least a year and it's probably solidly two years. And I don't think we've missed a night because we have a new child um, from it. And so it's a series of 10 oils that we put down her spine and literally it takes 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. We have them out. We have them ready to go. And, um, I know some of you on here have really great testimonies of this one too, but like the way she interacts with us, her sisters, her sister, her friends, the way she eats, um, just the way she like lives life is entirely different. She's way more off the rails when we don't have this. And so, um, if you have a kid that you feel like is in that zone, I would really encourage you to work on a routine in when including that sensory protocol to help them. That was great. Thanks, Amy. I'm like imagining you swiping balance across a screaming child's face. <laughs> That's like a really great visual. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about napping and sleep support. Okay, so lots of options here. There's so many oils that are great for sleep. So these are just a few. This calm down spray, I really like. It's just serenity and Roman chamomile, fill the rest with water. It smells so nice. Um, and you just spray on the child's bedding and pillow before bedtime, or if your child is old enough, let them do it. It's a part of their bedtime routine. Give them a little ownership of that. Put it in a little you know, pretty glass bottle and they 
can spray. I feel like that's like a helpful thing with the oils, but then just part of that routine too. The calmer roller. So we kind of talked about that. So apply down the bottom, the bottoms of the feet or down the spine before bed. Again, part of the routine. Um, my youngest is almost a year and I just kind of roll it on the front of her um, pajamas before bed. She lays on her stomach. And so that's a good spot for her. Um, diffusing options. Honestly, the sky's the limit. If you're like, I'm not a big fan of lavender, there's lots of options. These are just a few of our favorites. Serenity and frankincense. Um, frankincense will kind of like intensify whatever oil you put with it, which is a good thing. Like, um, and then you're also going to get all of the great benefits of frankincense to cellular support, immune support, all that good stuff for your little one too. Um, wild orange and vetiver. So some kids, I haven't heard this often, maybe twice. Um, some kids, some parents will say that lavender winds their kids up. Um, so if that is the case for your child, switch to wild orange. Wild orange is another really good option for calming down before bed. Mix it with some vetiver, um, cedarwood and sandalwood if you like more of the woodsy oils, and then Roman chamomile and frankincense is another good option there. These are just like some general things that most of us deal with as we're working with our littles. So what about an earache? Um, lavender and tea tree, hands down, you would dilute them and you don't put them in the ear. Um, you put it around the outside of the ear and kind of massage down the eustachian tube. Um, and you would repeat that as needed um, and to offer support in drainage and um, all the help with that. What about congestion, right? Maybe it's allergies, maybe it's some kind of immune issue going on. Breathe is my go-to, like diluted on the chest, um, in a diffuser, such great support for that. Um, like if you <laughs> send me a text, if your kids like put, or if your parents put Vicks vapor rub on your feet and like did funny things with Vicks vapor, or like swiped it and it burned and all the things like, I want to know, I want to start a support group and then immune support. Um, you know, this is like, um, <clears throat> from like fall, winter and spring daily part of our routine, right? On guard. Um, bottoms of feet in a diffuser, using it any way we can. Um, it's like a staple in every home. And then, um, you know, and maybe increasing what we're using if something starts to transpire and somebody's not feeling well, but these are great staples for sure. Okay, enough about our children. Okay, let's talk about, <laughs> we're done talking about the kids. Okay, so mom, so oils for mom, the number one thing we can recommend is the adaptive system. Um, so this comes, so you can get the 15 mil roller, or sorry, 15 mil oil. You can get the diluted 10 mil roller, or you can get the capsules. Um, so this, they kind of, they'll do different things. So the way I like to explain it is that I think the oil is a really great option for like, I'm feeling stressed right now. I'm feeling overwhelmed right now. I'm uh, like, I just need a breather right now. Um, I think the capsules are better for like, I feel stressed and overwhelmed every day. Like I need that support every day. That's like an ongoing feeling for me. I feel like the capsules are better, better for that long-term term support. Um, but honestly, to be used like uh, all together is the best for you, for your kids. Diffuse this, take some capsules. I feel like it's when I talk about it, then I'm like, oh yeah, I should start taking those every day. Because honestly, the difference, like if you, if you took these every day for five days and just like took stock and how you felt, I really feel like it would make a big difference. Um, so we could say a lot about that, but I want to talk more about other support for mom too. Okay, so use the oils that you have, right? These are some, take a picture of this so you can remember. Um, these are just a list of things to look back to to help you out, okay? So if you need a pick-me-up, you're feeling a little down, you're feeling tired, you're feeling unfocused, wild orange and peppermint, a drop of each in your hands, rub your hands together, just give yourself that 30 seconds to breathe it in, right? Like hide in the bathroom if you need to, but just give yourself that 30 seconds um, to make a big difference in your mood. For when you need a breather, adaptive. Um, when you feel like you're going to snap, get some balance on, same thing, put it on, breathe it in. For when you just did snap at your children, that's when you get out the forgive, right? Diffuse it, put it on you, put it on them, like what Amy said. Um, when you need to get the whole family somewhere on time, I 
I almost impossible. Um, motivate, get it going in the diffuser, get everyone moving. So when you get some time to yourself, passion oil, this is one we don't talk about a lot, but I just feel like it, it smells so lovely. And like, um, it sounds, it might sound silly, but honestly, the creative juices that can start to flow. If you are like working on something without your children, diffusing some passion, I really feel like it helps unlock some like uh, mental, the, some more mental space, right? To focus on something besides your children. Okay. And for when you forget that you're actually doing a really great job, citrus bliss. So this is an uplifting blend, right? Invigorating blend. Get that in the diffuser. Get that on. You're doing a great job. You have great kids. Everyone's doing okay. Right. So get some citrus bliss on when you've forgotten about that. Okay. Oh, I love that. And that was so good. Um, okay. So next up, we're going to show you like the three most popular ways to get started with oils. Um, the kits that we're going to show you, they're an amazing value and they do get you a free wholesale membership, which just means there's nothing scary with that. It just means you get wholesale pricing on anything you want for a whole year. You get it like tons of perks. If you want to take access, like, uh, take advantage of those too, but it's really great. Um, I'm just kidding. We're going to take a minute for questions. No, should we do that? Wait, no, 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 no. We'll come back to questions in a minute because I was on a roll. Well, I mean, honestly. Okay, so the Home Essentials Kit is the first one we're going to show you. Um, the oils in here are going to look very familiar to you because we talked about basically all of them tonight. Um, they're the 15 milliliter size bottles. You're getting 250 drops of each oil and you're getting the petal diffuser, which is honestly like one of my favorites. So this one is 249. The Healthy Start Kit is also awesome. Emily and I started with this kit before it even had a diffuser in it. Um, again, you're going to see those same oils that you just saw on the last slide for the most part, but they're five milliliter size. So you get about 88 drops of each oil um, and the pebble diffusers in there. So that one is 160. Okay, so here's the third option. So I'm coming back to this again, because I think it bears repeating. If you're like, guys, again, I am not making up my own stuff. doTERRA will do it for you. So the kids collection plus the membership, you're going to get all those kids oils we talked about already diluted. So calmer, stronger, thinker, brave, steady, tamer and rescuer. Um, my almost four year old hat brave is her favorite. And it's just mm -hmm. the sweetest thing. If she's feeling anxious about something, she knows she can say, I think I need my brave oil. And it just like, oh my gosh, it, my heart like squeezes every time. So you can add on. Um, so the, the total for all that would be 140. I would recommend adding on a breathe touch um, just because that gives you that extra, you know, just easy for kids get congested, right? Um, congested can roll it right on the chest. It's super gentle. Roll it on the bottoms of your feet. Use it for yourself right before bed. If you've got issues with noisy sleepers, roll it right over, um, you know, under the eyes there along the nose. So that's another great option to have it already made for you. The total for all that would be 154. Um, and then depending on your family's needs, the these are some really great optional add-ons. So the Tamer that we talked about, if you want to start with one of the kits, we love the Tamer, love the smell of it. Adaptive stickers. Um, so if you have stickers on the top of your bottle and you don't have to be like lifting them up to look at the side. Yeah, Amy's showing you there, get some stickers. They're 50 cents. It's like the best 50 cents you'll ever, ever spend. Um, get some rollers. If you do want to make some, dilute some, make your own concoctions, right? Have them all ready for your kids. Rollers you can get straight through doTERRA some fractionated coconut oil and the pump top to make it really easy. And then these continuous mist sprayers are super nice. So it's the, the mist that comes out of it is really fine. So you can use this in the bathroom, use this for cleaning products, use like kind of anything you want, right? Room sprays, the sky's the limit there. But I just think those are, those are a nice thing to have to make up your own stuff too. Okay, so your last opportunity for an entry for our raffles would be to text us like which option stands out to you the most like of these three options option one option two option three, which was like that makes sense for what I'm trying to work on and accomplish for my littles and myself okay. So we're going to give a minute for you to do that and then um, 
<laughs> we'll go back to questions. <laughs> um, so you can text us that you can trust that we are going to, so we have all these really fun texts from you that we get to go look at. Um, and so like tonight slash into tomorrow, as we kind of keep those conversations going, um, we will get a chance to talk with you about it, connect and help you with that answer questions that you have. Um, we're not going to stalk you or be weird. Um, we're just here to help. Okay. Um, so let's take a minute for questions. I'm kind of looking to see if there were things that we missed that people said they wanted to know more about. So if you have a question, you can unmute yourself or put it in the chat box. We're good to go in the chat box. Thanks, Melissa. Emily, this is Jen Hanneman. I was just wondering if you could share in the beginning when you said about the research that's being done, um, like in the studies. I think you said there was a website where you could pull all the references. Could you share that? I like to use things like that for my family that is skeptical about oils. Totally. <laughs> when they're Absolutely. like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. I put that in there and I, I, I love that. And you can okay. see, I was actually just looking at it the other day. There's like this little chart on the side that shows the history of essential oil research. And you can see like how low it was in, you know, 2001 and then now like 2021, it's just like skyrocketed. Awesome. So yeah, there's so many super interesting studies on there. So yeah, definitely utilize that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Hannah, I would dilute, um, for an earache. Yeah. My mom said, how old? Yeah. One year I would dilute. And sometimes, um, you know, we're talking about like zero to one and we've talked about one drop or whatever, but sometimes when I'm doing it for a little, I'll just rub the bottle like that and there will be oil. You can't see it, but there's oil there. And I call that a scant drop. And you can even do that with your lavender and your tea tree. Um, well, I'm going to watch the chat box here, chat box again. Um, things that are coming up, we're doing this again, Thursday night. If something happened, if you missed it, if you're like, I know I recorded it, but if you're like, oh, I like <laughs> need my spouse to hear this. I don't know. <laughs> Come on Thursday and we'll do this again. Um, Saturday morning for 30 minutes, we have a stress, sleep and emotions class on zoom. Um, if that's like, oh, I need a little more info in that area that is like totally free available to you. And then also in June, because I thought of this because there was a question in the chat box. Um, we're doing class on oils and pets. So if you love your pets as much as you love your children, you're going to want to be on that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, take us off the shared screen. Okay, there we go. Sorry, everybody. Um, and so if you want any links to those, just like text, then I want the links and we'll be sure to get those to you so you have that. Look at that. Any other questions? Thank you guys for being on. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I have a question. This is Johanna. Okay. So I have been using oils like on myself, no big deal for a long time. Like ever since Mandy and um, Emily kind of got me going on it. Right. So now I have a baby. He's five months old. He's just starting daycare. So this lady that we see for um, like cranial sacral therapy mm -hmm. recommended putting like a drop of lavender in a bottle of water with like a little bit of coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil to spray on his hands, like before and after daycare. Any thoughts on that? Like, I'm just, I'm nervous to put it on him because he's so little and I'm like, is that okay? But now I'm hearing like the one drop thing, like talk to me. Yeah. Is it, did she say what the purpose was or like, what's the goal with the, spray? I guess she's trying to say like to clean, like, so like when he goes, like he's calm and like, it's like cleaning, but I'm like, that just, I'm not really sure that that like makes sense. Sure. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I, it, first off, that's not a bad thing, right? Like that would be totally fine to do just the lavender. I think like I would do that, but if it were me, I would just use the on guard hand sanitizing mist. Um, and well, that's what I was wondering because I obviously have a lot of on guard too. So, but like, let's say I wanted to like make my own mixture of that. Would I just do the one drop because he's like under one? Hmm. Can I say something really quick? Yeah. I think that um, unless I'm putting like somebody right to bed or swaddled, I don't typically use hands because a little one like flails, right? And would could be like, it's not going to damage or hurt, but would be irritated. Would be like, mom, I don't like the way that feels. If like he was rubbing on guard into like around his well, eyes. Well, he has like his hands constantly in his mouth. That's what I'm like 
you know, well, and again, that's not going to hurt him, but he's not maybe going to love it. So, yeah. um, I would probably stick to like diluted on guard on the bottoms of his feet for that kind of support. And I do think lavender, uh, yeah, would not be a bad idea on the hands. Um, and again, even if that was kind of rubbed, that would have a much different sensation than like an on guard blend. Mm -hmm. So like, if I was going to make like a, like a spray bottle or whatever, like what would, like, would I just do like one drop of lavender or something in like, what, how, what do you think the concoction would be? Do you have any empty oil bottles laying around? I do. Yeah. Just put a drop or two of lavender and I would fill, you know, a little fraction of coconut oil, a little water. And then I would just like dab, dab and be good. And yeah. Just a drop or two in there is fine. Hmm, okay. Yeah. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? I'm with the lady that told her to do that. I'm oh yeah, the lavender. Yeah, I, she, think I actually think she said antro might. It was um, it, uh, like micro. What did she say? Something micro. antibacterial, micro. Yeah, antibacterial. it's antibacterial and antiviral, and I feel like it's a little less spicy. And so, if you've got a child who's always got their hands in their mouth, I would say. I like the lavender. It's more gentle. It wouldn't be as off-putting. It's also calming when you're picking up a baby. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it'd be perfect. You, you wouldn't even need a little spray top on your recycled bottle. You could just dab it out, like Amy said, onto you, even your hands and then massage his or her hands. Um, I think that's okay. a great suggestion. Yeah, the reason I thought of the on, I probably wouldn't make my own on guard spray, but I thought of the on guard hand sanitizing mist because it evaporates so quickly. You know, it doesn't it's not that same like stays on the skin type of thing. But yeah, go with the lavender. Let us know how it goes. That sounds okay. really nice, actually. Yeah, the lady's like super into the essential oils too. I mean, she does the young living stuff, but I mean, she's just like, it's medicine, it's medicine. I'm like, I know, like, you don't have to preach to me. I'm just like nervous to put on like my five month old. I just don't know if that's okay or not. Sure. Yeah. We, we, Amy and I can for sure vouch. We have done it on our babies since the day they were born and mm -hmm. they're all, they're all good. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I understand yeah. your concern though. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. You won't do any harm, but yeah, you'll be glad to be able to reach for them when you need them. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. All right, everyone. Um, well, if you want any of those links, hopefully we'll see you soon and then we'll be texting and chatting with you. Okay. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.